Oh, hi guys! Today it's Sunday. And now, let's go for a walk. According to Jules, the development of science and technology allowed me to access more information and commodities conveniently compared to how it is acquired in the past. Next is from Mon. As an individual, the effect of science and technology to me is it makes my life easier to the extent that sometimes I tend to abuse and dependent to it. According to her, technology is one of the biggest contribution of science to the human kind. It made my life easier and convenient, especially in accomplishing my daily task. Every day, people are trying to discover and innovate new things for the development of human lives. One of it is the creation of gadgets, which is what I'm using today. I can easily share information and ideas without a single sweat. In my education, I can access data in a breeze. It also improves our communication, transportation, businesses, and our education and health system. Helmi said, It affect me in the way that it give advantage through my daily life. It makes my life easy by the advanced technology, but it also give me this advantage through bad globalization happening right now. It is obvious that science and technology have enhanced man's quality of life from day-to-day -day activities to most complicated ones, and that these advantages have helped to solve many of man's difficulties in areas of production, communication, transportation, and health, which directly affect any country's economy. Through the years, science and technology affected the ways man sees himself, and different inventions and innovations have come that many of man's daily activities have been improved and altered. And now, let's discuss its advantages. Student, technology has a big impact when it comes to my education. We are in the age of information where we are one click away to the unlimited information through the use of internet, specifically the World Wide Web, and access vast variety of information. Also, it increases our knowledge, capacity, and give us additional ideas. For example, we are tasked to do academic research. Unlike before, the reading textbooks and reading physical materials are their only choice to access information. Now, through the advancement of our Android phones, we can just simply press the screen and do our research works. Further, through continuous advancement of technology, we can now bring the school to our home that made possible to e-learning. E-learning has its negative side, but we cannot deny the fact that through e-learning, our educational system survived despite the COVID-19 that we continue to use. Faster and broader communication. One of the greatest advantages of technology is to provide good communication services. With the use of technology, we are able to develop communities and close relationships with others. Communication becomes very easy for people to contact and interact people around the world. With the use of many social media applications such as Facebook, Messenger, YouTube, and others that easily contact and communicate our family and friends. Within seconds, and least cost. For me, I utilize social media platform and online meeting platforms to reach out my classmates and my colleagues as a venue for meetings and discussion to save time and money, and knowing that everyone has busy schedules. Moreover, communication within the internet is very open which endures freedom of expression, diversity of perspective, and tolerance of dissent to achieve the informed and responsible decision-making fundamental as a big society. Technology can be used to express personal conviction on pursuit of fairness and justice. It improves our health. People are now open to new experiments and formulations of new drugs and medicines to improve the quality of health. So, the researchers are more involved in generating treatments, cure, and vaccines to tackle the world's most devastating diseases. Different diseases which seem untreatable and have 
cost high mortality rate now have treatments. For example, through the help of science and technology, COVID-19 has lessened its effect and has now vaccines. It is fairly obvious how science and technology has improved man's way of life. But it is also notable how it has caused harm to both the environment and people. Technology overrides humanity and human became a slave to modern technology. Technology made us lazy and mediocre students. Due to the fact that technology makes our life easy and one click away to endless information, it stains our cognitive being and make our brains stop thinking, analyzing, and learning. We become too much dependent on artificial intelligence and search engines, which made us be humor and not learning. For example, we have a task to make an opinionated essay. However, instead of giving our opinion, we tend to copy and paste on the internet. Spreading of fake news. Misinformation and fake news are nothing new. Yet in recent years, the terms have become truly mainstream and taken on a life of their own. As we continue into the digital era and due to the unique character of the internet that is massively open, the opportunities for fake news and misinformation have increased. The socialization. Face-to-face -face interactions, which is necessary for development personalities, learning social skills and communication skills have been removed to the lives of people, especially younger generations. Children having bad time interacting others might lead to bad social skills. It makes us distracted and demotivated. Distractions from mobile phones, tablets, laptops, and other technology can be detrimental to the learning process and decrease in productivity. For example, you are studying for an oral recitation and your phone bells. When you open your phone to check the notification, but turns out you're scrolling for an hour. Also, the motivation is connected for being distracted. Due to many distractions, students get demotivated in their study and gain their interest in taking. Destroys our mental health. Mental health has been the primary victim of this modern technology. To be specific, the social media. It has been the main source of depression and anxiety, fear of missing out, cyberbullying, and realistic expectations, negative body image, lack of sleep, and addiction, which may lead to suicide. Social media bridges the gap of distance and communication and let people communicate with the world. But it brought many problems to humanity, mostly to young people that makes them not functional to the society. First, they become the problem of society. Science possesses huge moral dilemmas. We're reaching levels of technological development, for instance, that creates serious moral dilemmas. Think about manipulating DNA, changing physical features of unborn children, or creating robots computers that might, one day, think for themselves. Lack of physical activities. A new study suggests that increasing students' use of technology may be negatively affecting their health. Specifically, it may lead to less physical activity and decreased cardiovascular respiratory care. The use of technology devices may also impact sleep. Many college students experience sleep deprivation, and this may be contributing to the reduced physical activity levels. To cope up with the disadvantages of science and technology, Putting limitations, keeping it balanced, and being responsible citizens are ways to eliminate the impacts of science and technology in our lives. As Dalai Lama once said, without technology, humanity has no future. But we have to be careful that we don't become so mechanized that we lose human feelings. Understanding the nature of science, technology, and society will enable us to understand, analyze, and make probable solutions of these extremely alarming social dilemmas. The technology overrides and destroys. That's all for today, guys. I hope you learned something. Please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Bye bye.